Today, the European Union imposed $3.2 billion worth of new tariffs in retaliation to U.S. tariffs imposed by the Trump administration. These tariffs are already impacting Utah businesses, and this will likely impact your wallet. Experts say no matter what you buy, the recent round of tariffs will impact your wallet. It's the federal government adding more tax onto products that come from other countries, but it's not those countries that pay the tax, it's the U.S. consumer that pays the tax. America imposed heavy tariffs on steel and aluminum coming from other countries. Steel fabricators like Bishes in Salt Lake City says even the talk of tariffs back in March impacted prices. And once the president indicated that he was getting serious about it, prices went up 30 percent overnight. McGuire says even U.S. steel manufacturers took advantage by raising prices to make more money. For nearly six weeks, orders dropped off as buyers got scared. A lot of the orders dropped off, and there was just that uncertainty that people didn't want to place any new orders because they wanted to see what was actually going to take place. Senator Orrin Hatch mentioned Bishes by name during a hearing this week to highlight the impact in Utah. McGuire says orders have since stabilized as companies absorb the higher costs. Experts say the biggest impact from steel tears will be housing costs. In many ways, if you're trying to buy, it's bad. And so adding a 25% surcharge on top of that is not going to be helpful to Utah families. In retaliation, Mexico, Canada, and the European Union put tariffs on many U.S. agriculture goods like pork. While the extra supply will lower prices, experts say it could end up costing jobs down the line. There may be some areas where consumers would say, oh, good, pork prices are going down. That hurts the pork producers, though. Now, the billions of dollars in Chinese tariffs aren't set to take effect until July, but are still impacting market prices. Experts believe this is being done to negotiate better trade, trade deals, but could go on for some time.